dataset is the cornerstone of any data analysis. The dataset quality and the efficiency of data collection define the very result of any data analysis project. Unlike the data analysis and visualization process, where similar methodologies and toolkits can be shared in different industries and knowledge sectors, the data collection process can be extremely industry specific since the data availability and source may vary a lot. My name is Dennis Tsai. In this video, I will introduce the two major categories of public health data and their respective collecting approaches. Public health data sets may be conveniently envisioned as falling into two broad categories. One category includes counts of individual health-related events or services. Counts are made of individuals who are provided particular health services, such as physical examination, blood test, medical treatment for disease, surgery, or fitness apps. These counts are normally geographically and chronically proscribed. This video displays a data visualization of the traces of about 500 study participants wearing GPS devices from the Mapping Health study. However, because data collection is limited to those who seek services, the results may or may not be representative of the general population. The second category of datasets describes populations through the use of sampling techniques. Data collection systems that create these datasets survey a subset of a reference population. The reference population could be as broad as all citizens of the United States, or it may be more narrowly constrained. Examples include many of the federal surveys of health status and health behaviors and health services utilization. The sampling techniques are used to identify an appropriate survey population. Statistical reports include a mix of text, tables, and figures from datasets available from an increasing number of federal, state, and local sources through a variety of electronic modes, including the Internet. In our project, we will adopt a dataset providing data on foodborne disease outbreaks reported to CDC from 1998 through 2015. I'm Dennis Tsai. Hope you will enjoy this video. See you next time.